especially in terms of pro assessment and health related quality of life assessment there are not as many standards established as yet as it goes further in points for example morbidity um, mortality etc so um, raising the awareness that we need standards and to make uh, definitions and agreements on how to interpret these data will greatly help us in doing the assessment that we do. Um, well, as I said, if we do an assessment, we do not only look at mortality, morbidity and adverse events, but health-related quality of life is by its own an endpoint of interest. So, if we have standards which increase the quality of these data and the analysis that greatly helps us endure the assessments as quality of life is a central part in our assessment and has ever been. Uh, the thing is, if we have clear recommendations, we have clear standards that also we can apply to. We always have to refer to the uh, state of the art of, of evidence-based medicine. So the better the standards are, the better that is for ourselves to have a guideline on how to do our projects and how to do our assessments. Um, we believe that health-related quality of life data are very important to assess a drug from a, a patient perspective point of view, although a patient um, representative might argue on that better than I can. But we think that is really an aspect which has not been um, looked into uh, in the past as much as it was needed or uh, as much as it would have been deserved. And we're happy that this initiative can provide or can um, can stress the importance of these endpoints and um, we're happy if we can contribute to that as well.